Hey guys, it's So Square and Cubed. Um, one, apologies that the music sounds weird. Um, I don't really have any editing tools right now, so I'm literally playing the song off my computer, which is sitting behind you. Um, two, I do still really need help um, trying to get a new car. Link to the GoFundMe is below if you did not see yesterday's video. Um, or last time's video, I this day has been a blur. Um, I was in a really bad car accident and I need help getting a new car. Otherwise, like I'm screwed. So there's a GoFundMe below. Please help out if you can. If you can't, um, please share uh, the video. Um, not this one, but the one from before with the GoFundMe link and everything. Um, I'll link to that video below as well if I can. I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, uh, it is Monday. I'm actually filming this Sunday night. Actually, technically, you know what? It's Monday morning. It is 12.07. Um, I need to start getting back into something or I'm going to lose my mind, especially not having my car. So, Makeup Mondays. Um, I've got a couple products. Let's just go ahead and jump into it. First one, I've never used before. I actually didn't even know I had. Um, surprisingly, it's another sea salt spray. I don't know why the random number generator that I'm using keeps having me do sea salt sprays. They don't work in my hair. Maybe this one will. Um, I don't know. Also, I love that my music is just glitching out right now. Um, so I just wanted to point out, um, my hair is really, really greasy right now. Um, so I have Jewish ancestry, therefore uh, my hair is not quite, I'm not one of those people who can wash my hair every day. Um, I gotta wash my hair like every three days, otherwise it gets way too dry, way too like, ugh, um, and gross. But see, I'm on wash day like seven right now and I need to wash my hair. So we will be doing that in the morning. I don't have time right now. <laughs> Um, I've actually kind of been putting it off because of, be, since the accident, I've been in a lot of pain, um, not able to stand for too long, so we're going to ignore that. Also, I love how every little movement and my camera just keeps shifting. It's wonderful. I also love how yellow my teeth look. Okay, we're getting sidetracked. Um, so this sea salt spray, I'm going to hide my face behind it. <laughs> um, it is the Parlor Moisturizing Sea Salt Spray. Here's what I don't understand. How is a salt spray supposed to moisturize my hair? I don't get it, but we're gonna try it. On camera. I'm sorry, I'm like shaking you as I'm doing this. Also, I'm looking at myself because I need to feel good about myself. Um, directions say, spray evenly on damp or dry hair and style with your fingers. Okay. Oh, well, that's one good thing. It smells kind of good, so that's nice. Um, I mostly focused it in the roots. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I, I don't ever know what I'm supposed to be seeing from a sea salt spray, if I'm being entirely honest. Um, let's try just doing a little bit of that. See if we can get some. I mean, it does make my hair feel pretty soft, but... Um, it doesn't like do anything as far as the texture for my hair, so I would honestly probably use this after I got out of the shower or something, or like before I conditioned my hair maybe, uh, would be good, but um, I mean yeah, it kind of made my hair a lot softer. I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder to just kind of see, um, I'm not a fan. I just, I, hairsprays, they don't ever work my hair, they don't. They don't ever work on my hair. So that's, that's that. I'm gonna, um, <laughs> I'm a mess. Um, so that was the Parlor Sea Salt Spray. The next lovely little thing is actually, um, a sample that I got when I was doing birch boxes a long time ago. And it's something that I actually do use pretty often. Um, it is a sample size of the Coastal Scents Revealed Naked 2 palette. That is so many words to say. Um, I have actually used this quite a bit. I will say um, I much prefer my Profusion palette now. 
um, just because one, it's the full palette and it's much, much cheaper. Um, and two, um, it honestly gives like the same quality, but we'll go ahead and show you. These are the, the ones that I have. I think the full palette is like a 16 shade palette or something. Um, I don't actually know. My desk is so unorganized right now that I literally can't find any of my brushes. That's not one of them. Oh, here's one. Yeah, it's really gross and disgusting right now. So, um, fun secret. I'm not wearing any pants right now. I'm wearing, well, I'm wearing shorts, um, but they're pajama shorts. So to clean my brush, I'm literally just wiping it on my naked legs because that's how, uh, that's just who I am as a person. Um, so if we were going in with a dry brush, I just want to whoop. That's actually not, it's not bad color payoff. And I really do like, I really do like these um, shades. Like they're nice, they're sparkly, they're fun. Um, I'm sure I like I've used them in the past. I've actually used this gold um, before as a highlighter, which has been fun. I'm just gonna go like, I do have a mirror beside me, by the way. I'm just, it's late and I don't know. I've used the gold as a highlighter before. I do like it. Um, it is a really fun, like natural kind of palette. It doesn't smell like anything. You would think their name is Coastal Scents. They would have a nice smell, but they don't. They should smell like coconut, like a physician's formula does. But that's ahead of me. That's too much, too much in that. Ooh, you know what? Hold on real quick because this isn't like an accurate. Let me just waste some time, even though I have no viable editing equipment. Um, I'm going to swatch this on my face because I have a little bonus item for us today. So I want y'all to be able to see. Oh gosh, this might end up being a really big mistake. I ran out of fingers. Hold on. I'm so pretty. And by pretty, I mean stupid. Anyway, wow, these are actually crazy pigmented. Uh, I love that. Um, like I said, this is something that I've used in the past. I really like it, um, but I prefer now to use my Profusion palette and that's just what I prefer to use. Um, I do have a little blending brush. Let's see something real quick. I mean, okay. I don't actually know how to blend, so I'm probably not even doing this right. TBH, but sure. Um, we're gonna leave that on my face for just one second while I find the little bonus item that we're gonna review today. Um, actually, I, I've got it. You know what? We're gonna wait till the end because the end is so much better. Um, the next little bad boy that I've got, let's just go ahead and do eyeliner because I don't have any rules. Um, so I got this for my Halloween costume. I was a drama, like, cute mermaid. I don't, I don't know, like, fashion mermaid, I guess. Um, and I used this to draw on my scales, and now I actually kind of, like, wear it a lot because it's really good. Um, it is the do, 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 Maybelline Lasting Drama Gel Eyeliner, I think it is. Yeah, waterproof gel pencil. Um, so routinely I use the Pop Cosmetics Inliner. Um, cause I do tight lining like all the time and always by the end of the day, it's like gone. I wore this in my waterline. I cried in it. I like was sweating in it. I wore it for like 12 hours. I got home and this was still on perfect. It's my favorite thing right now. And I picked this up at Target while it was full price. I went back the other day and at least in the targets near me, all their fun colors are on clearance right now, so you should 100% get those while you can. Um, we're just gonna do a little... Um, I'm not gonna be putting it actually on my eyes because the makeup remover, which is my little bonus item, um, I it can be used near the eyes, but it always like makes me freak out. So we're just gonna draw a little, little heart, give ourselves some love. That's gonna be an ugly heart. Well look if you can't love yourself fuck it <laughs> all right and i love it too because it doesn't really smudge like 
I can blend it out okay, but once it settles, like it doesn't go anywhere, which is really, really nice. I love how I'm a crazy person on this half of my face, but not on the other half. Like this is the, oh, hi, nice to meet you, Tinder date. And then this is what the Tinder date really is. I've never used Tinder actually. Um, this next product, I have worn it tons of times. You've probably seen me wear it. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm wearing it in like all my pictures. It is the NYX Liquid Suede Liquid Lipstick, particularly in the color Alien because it's black. Um, I love it. I will say it's not like transfer proof, it's not kiss proof, like it does rub off especially in like the center water lines of your lips, um, but for all intents and purposes, I love it. I'm actually going to pause while I put this on, but I'll see you in just one second. All right, I'm back and I feel bad and mysterious. You never really notice how weird your mouth moves until you're putting on lipstick and then talking into a camera and watching yourself like, oh my God, my mouth does that. It's so weird. Anyway, my last product um, to review, which is not the bonus product, um, is the NYX Matte Liquid Eyeliner. Um, it's little like number typeface name or whatever is MLL01. It comes in black. I don't think it comes in any other color. Um, the unfortunate thing is I can't actually swatch it for you because I loved it so much that I, it's dried up because I used it. Um, I talked about this in like my last Makeup Monday. My desk is a mess. Um, in case you're wondering, this is a wine glass candle that I made that smells like real wine. Maybe one day I'll do a, a candle making thing for you. Um, but yeah, I, I talked about this in a previous Makeup Monday. I loved it so much. And then for that whole next year that I went looking for it, I couldn't find it anywhere. It was sold out everywhere. I couldn't order it. It was just sold out. And now, of course, I see it at my local Target all the freaking time. But I have found kind of a cheaper alternative, which is my Revlon um, eyeliner, which I love. But honestly, um, when I do have the money, again, I'm going to go back to this, mostly because I just love the brush. It's so pointed, so precise, and gives a really beautiful cat eye. Um, Revlon is pretty close, so it's close. It's close. All right. <sighs> Deep breaths, because it is time to get all of this off my face. I think that's what I'm going to do for my makeup reviews from now on, is to just put a bunch of stuff on my face and end it with cleaning it all off. Um, the funny thing is I don't actually have any cleansing wipes, so this is going to be fun. Anyways, um, the little bonus product that I have, I don't actually own, like, a thing of it, um, but I got a sample while I was at Target the other day, and it is the Bliss Makeup Melt Dry or Wet Gentle Jelly Cleanser with Rose Flower. I know that's a lot of words. Um, you can use it dry, you can use it wet, it takes off everything. It is safe for around the eyes, but I used it once and it, while it did work, um, my eyes were like really dry afterwards. They do make a specific one for eye makeup though. So um, it's really fun. It's kind of this milky clear kind of like you can't even, yeah. Um, but it's amazing, like, look, you know, this stuff isn't really budging. Uh, the lipstick is budging, but it, well, that actually, that's a look. Um, but this stuff is just so amazing. Uh, I'm not going to put it directly on my lips because I'm still talking, because of course I am. Um, but it's really amazing just how much this can get off and how easily. And I really do like, like, see, look, it's already working. And that stuff is waterproof. Um, I really like that you can use it both dry or wet because I don't, I'm not a fan of cleansers that I have to use water with. Like, what if I'm out? What if I don't have access to water? What if I don't want to run my sink at the same time? Look, you can see it pulling the lipstick off. I love it. Ah, 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 I absolutely love it. I'm trying not to eat it. 
I don't love it that much. Well, actually, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna get a wipe, a dry wipe to show you like how this comes off. I'll be right back. Oh God, I can't pause on my fingers are covered. All right, I am back. I have toilet paper to kind of wipe all this away. Um, that's the unfortunate thing is if you do use it dry, you need something to wipe it away with. Um, I brought toilet paper and then just in case I brought some more makeup wipes. So let's see. I mean, it did kind of leave a sheen, so. And I will go ahead and say like, it's not taking that off because it dried down. Um, so yeah, if you do use it dry, you do need to take it off with something that is wet or take it off before it dries down. Um, either way. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, it feels bad. It feels like I'm going to eat it. Mm. I look like a train wreck, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, it gets pretty much everything off like first swipe, which is amazing. Um, lipsticks are a little bit harder with this. I have noticed, um, but I will also say that this lipstick was not dried down all the way when I put it on. So Ooh. we're just going to do a little touch up in the meantime. I just realized that I had a little bit of uh, eyeliner on my nose, but that's okay. All right, you guys, that has been a very, very long, even though I tried to make it short, Makeup Monday. I, if you actually watched through this whole video, I'm so proud of you, but also why. Um, also, tomorrow's video, so Tuesdays, instead of being Trash Talk Tuesdays, because I'm tired of talking about my problems, are going to be Tidy Up Tuesdays. Um, so expect a video of me cleaning up my room and talking about my shit at the same time tomorrow. Um, I love you guys. Stay cool. Stay cubed. If you will please share that GoFundMe link, that would be amazing. I would appreciate it so, so much. And, uh, I love you guys. Mwah! Stay cool. I'll see you next time.